We'll guide you through how to fix the Ethernet connection not working in Windows 11. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This is super annoying, so let's get in some fixes. First of all, come to the bottom of your computer and you want to go and click on the search. And what you need to do is go and type in network connections like so. I'm being suggested it. Now, what you need to do is go and find Ethernet and you want to go and right click on it and you want to go and click on disable. After you've done that, you want to go and right click on it and press enable again. If it was disabled in the first place, then right click on it and enable it. Sometimes doing that will just go and solve the problem. Now, if that solves your problem, then great. If it doesn't, right click on it and you want to go and click on properties. Select internet protocol version four, go to the bottom right and click on properties. Now what you want to do is make sure you select obtain an IP address automatically and obtain a DNS server address automatically. Press OK and then press close and go and see if the problem is then solved. If it isn't, what you could try doing is right clicking on Ethernet, click on properties and then select Internet Protocol version 4 again. Click on properties is you could try using this DNS. So select use the following and you can type it in 8888 and then 8844 like so. Press OK and press close and go and see if the problem is then solved. If it still isn't, come to the bottom of your computer and click on the Windows button and click on settings. Then come over to the left and you want to go and select network and internet. Then scroll down to advanced network settings and you want to go and scroll down again until you can see the option network reset in more settings. Click there. What you can do is click on reset now and this will remove and reinstall all your network adapters. And hopefully that will solve your problem. If it still doesn't, then definitely go and check your Ethernet cable. It may be faulty, so you could try changing it.